Greetings Java viewers and welcome to another Minecraft Mining for Beginners tutorial. And this is part 2 of the mob part series. Now, last time, um, a lot of you might have uh, noticed that I kind of failed on uh, making the model. Um, I can just go ahead and show you, uh, show you it in the code. So basically, um, here. Um, this is the left arm. Now I forgot to name it. Um, so we now, right now, we have two right arms, which uh, is what I actually told you not to have. So um, yeah, I kind of failed my own thing. So what you want to do is, um, you know, I'm just going to show you this um, while we get in the coat. All right. So what I want to do first of all um, is fix this error real quick. So uh, I'm going to make a new package. Since I'm very organized, so I want to call this Modi and Tannen Models. All right, what you can do is you can drag in this thing and just drag it in there, and do the copy files and press OK. And it should do this thing. Um, actually, it shouldn't do this. I don't know why it's doing this, but I'm just gonna pause it until it's done. All right, you ready? Now we've done that. Now it should give you an error in this file. Now, okay, first of all, I noticed you cannot have spaces in your name, of course, so just go ahead and remove the double name there. Um, also, remove everything before the package, since we do not need that. Change, oops, change the packet declaration, import model base, import model render. Now on here, uh, change right arm to left arm, or you know, you know what I mean. Um, change it to whatever you have here. Um, like that. Now where you have your right arm doubled here, change this to left and then put it on all of them oh, what the hell am I doing there we go <laughs> and there and yeah, alright so import entity from this one net.micro.entity uh, this might go a little fast um, I'm sorry if it does rename Alright, do that, I guess. And down here, you can do two things where we can either do this if you do not want rotation. Actually, you could put this if you wanted, but I'm gonna put in entity. Then, after this one, oops, you wanna put entity space entity. Make sure whatever you put here is what you put here. You could even put, um, I don't know. Par six, and then par six. But I'm just gonna go with entity. And you also. <laughs> well, what the hell, man? There we go. Put it up here, comma, entity, on this one, on line fifty-six. Or actually, I cannot say line fifty-six, depending on how many boxes you have. But uh, this should fix all errors if you go ahead and save it. And we have a model right now. So what up now? All right. First of all, you want to go in into um, your main class, and we were going to code the. Um, I guess we could call it. I don't know. Define definition of the mob. Uh, where should we put this? Um, here. Alright, so it's in your load method, or whatever you called it. And let's call this mobs. AKA entities. Alright. So, first of all, you want to add this entity register. No, registry. Registry dot uh, register 
global entity ID. Alright, first we have your entity class. Uh, this is entity. We're gonna call our Madia monster. So this is gonna be our entity file, and you wanna put in dot class. Next one is the entity name. So let's put Madium monster, and the ID is um, in mod loader. If you watched my um, previous tutorials, we put it 30. Now, because we're using Forge, um, we can do it so there's no conflicts with other mods. Just like with the Creative tab. So we do Entity Registry dot Find Global Unique Entity ID. Now, since we're going to add a spawner egg, we want to put a comma and another comma. Now, in these commas, we're going to have Oops. We're gonna have the color of the egg, uh, which is uh, I think it's pretty nice. You can choose that yourself. So we're gonna use hex code. So you can put zero x um, on both of them. And here comes the hex code. If you do not know what the hex code is, I'm just quickly gonna show you it. So open up uh, Pay.net. I don't know if you can do this in GIMP, but if you go into um, the color in Pay.net, it says hex right here. So that's this is black. As you can see. Whenever I change the color here, it changes the number. So what I want to do is I want to make the spawner egg dark green on the inside and then light green um, circles on it. So let's just choose this color. So it's 179125. You copy this, put it after the first X, and after this one, we're going to have a light green. So like this. Copy this and put it there as you can see this has no letters but this one has a d it doesn't matter if it has letters or not it, it'll still be hex code all right so um oh yeah we haven't made the entity class yet next up um oops next up you want to add in another entity registry uh registry dot i think it is at spawn yeah um which one of these is it? Uh, I think it's this one. Wait, I'm not sure. Anyhow, um, put in entity modium monster or whatever you name yours. That class again. Uh, weighted prop. Alright, so this is the spawn rate of it. Now, um, let's make this a spawn rate of 4. The minimum amount of uh, mo money and monsters that can spawn at the same place. That should be 2 and the max I'm going to put as 5. So they spawn in groups from 2 to 5. The type of creature. Um, you do enum creature type dot. And you can choose ambient creature monster water creature. Um, let's go ahead and make this a... I can't remember what ambient is. Creature I think... This is like um, a pig, I guess. I don't know what ambient is. This might be as a pig as well. I don't know. Monster is that it burns in daylight. And water creature, I guess, is like um, a squid. And so I'm just going to put this as a creature. And the biomes, um, you don't need this. You could just um, end it here by removing this. And I guess it would spawn in every biome. Um... But if you want your mob to spawn in like your own dimension or something like that, you would do new biome um, biome gen base. I think square brackets. Uh, open up some curly brackets at the same line, and in there you would put the biome. So we could do biome gen base dot. Uh, planes. Um. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Alright, there we go. It would spawn in the planes now. I guess only in the planes. Uh, yeah. So that's how you would do that. Now, we're not gonna have this. So, I'm just gonna put this away. Now you could just pause the video, just like there, and then put it in, I don't know. 
Next up, we want to have the name for the egg. So you do language registry dot instance uh, at string. What is the one? Which one? Localization, I guess. That's yeah, yeah. This one. Uh, the key, uh, which would be entity dot modium monster dot name you have to add these entity and name and the value uh, the value would be the same as this one just like that and uh, yeah that is how you make your mob in your main class wait I'm just gonna go ahead and see how long this tutorial is and Depending on how long it is, I'll see if we can continue on this one. Alright, the video is like 10 minutes, so I'm just going to end this video here. I hope you guys liked it, and in the next tutorial, we are going to be looking at our entity file, and um, if we got time for it, also our render file. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. I'm out.